first of all we need to add a new attribute to the materials tabular section materials add tabular section attribute let's call it total we need to change its type and now we need to add it into the form here is our new attribute let's drag and drop it here now we don't want a user to be able to change it so we need to select this read only checkbox okay now we want this attribute value to be recalculated every time user changes quantity or price values let's take a look at these visual elements events and here is what we need on change event whose handler will be executed every time user changes quantity value let's add this handler all data we need are inside the form so we don't need any server calls so we select client handler now we need to get price and quantity values from the current line and calculate the total on the basis but how we do that let's ask once enterprise in runtime we can add return line here save the configuration and place a breakpoint running the debugger opening one of goods receipts and changing the quantity now we are inside the handler procedure and can look into client's memory evaluate expression this form expanding the tree and this is what we were looking for this items attribute contains all visual elements of the form let's look inside of it this is our table containing the list of materials expanding it and this current data object is what we need let's look inside and we can see the price and the quantity of the current line so we can definitely refer to these names let's copy this to the clipboard and then go back to our source code now we can remove this and write something like that quantity price we need exactly the same calculation to be performed when the price is changed so let's select the same handler here and see what have we got let's open any goods receipt doc and try to change the quantity and the total is recalculated now let's change the price and the total is recalculated again 